4 times x to the power of 6, y to the power of 7, z to the power of 10, all of that to the power of 4. It's kind of like we're distributing that 4. You could write this out 4 times if you wanted to. And the 4 has a power of 1 in the parentheses. So we have 4 to the power of 1. This is, I haven't multiplied yet. y to the power of 7 and z to the power of 10. And we're going to multiply all the exponents by the 4 from the outside. Times 4 and times 4. Now again, you could expand this out, get rid of all the parentheses, and add all the exponents. But it's going to be the same thing. For example, like the x powers, you would have four groups of 6, which would give us x to the power of 24. And this would be 4 to the power of 4, y to the power of 28, <clears throat> and z to the power of 40. Yeah, so this is how the homework will want to see it, or even on the module quiz. So. So five